Following a developing story out of New York where a police officer was shot and killed while sitting in her patrol car. 48-year-old officer Mia Sotis Familia died at a hospital early this morning. What police are calling a clear assassination. The attack happened in the Bronx just after 12.30 this morning while the officer was sitting in the squad with her partner. Her partner radioed for help while other officers spotted the suspect and started chasing him. Police say that suspect was shot after he drew a revolver on the officers. Suspect has been identified as 34-year-old Alexander Bonds. At this point, police say they are not aware of any personal connection between Bonds and Familia. We'll continue following that today. Looks like there is not going to be a new contract agreement between Children's Minnesota and Blue Cross and Blue Shield. And that means thousands of families will be paying much more if they want to receive the same care at that same hospital. Children sent out a statement this morning saying Blue Cross gave Children's an impossible ultimatum, knowingly threatening our ability to care for the kids and families that rely on us every day and the vitality of our organization. Blue, Cra Blue Cross says the vast majority of their negotiations with physicians and hospitals are resolved thoughtfully and reasonably. They go on to say they find it disappointing that children would choose to walk away from our network instead of working with us collaborative, collaboratively to negotiate a new agreement. So Children says it was being asked to accept double-digit reductions to Medicaid rates, which in turn would cut services. But the insurance company says they've tried to work with the hospital by putting forth alternative offers that have continually been tossed aside. Blue Cross has agreed to approve continued treatment at Children's for more than 4,000 insured patients based on uh, their need for ongoing medical care. Those patients will be transitioned to other hospitals only when it is medically safe and appropriate. The UN Security Council holds an emergency meeting later today to discuss North Korea's missile launch. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the launch represents a new escalation of the threat to the United States and its allies. U.S. officials have confirmed Tuesday's launch was the nation's first successful test of an intercontinental ballistic missile. President Donald Trump sent a tweet yesterday urging China to put a heavy move on North Korea and end this nonsense once and for all. China and Russia issued a joint statement that calls for a halt to missile test in exchange for the U.S. and South Korea suspending their large-scale military exercises. President Donald Trump travels to Poland today. He's set to deliver what the White House is calling a major speech. He'll also meet with the president of Poland, who is looking for reassurance that President Trump is committed to NATO. We share with, uh, with the current administration, with the, with the President Trump's administration, the, the idea of, uh, of the strong alliance, uh, of a transatlantic bond that is uh, crucial and, uh, uh, for the security of, of our region. During his first foreign trip in May, President Trump left some world leaders feeling uneasy given his positions on trade and climate change. He also pushed military allies to boost their own spending on defense. President's visit to Poland comes ahead of his trip to Germany for the annual G20 summit. White House has confirmed that he will have a face-to-face -face meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Friday.